Okay, so here's some basics on bonds payable. Um, to issue a note payable is not really a big deal. You draw up a, an agreement um, and you sign the note payable and that can be done at a lending institution um, with not much problem. A bond is much more, a bond issue is much more complex to, uh, to deal with. Uh, the company has to file a bunch of legal documents with the Securities and Exchange Commission. The Securities and Exchange Commission looks at the company's financials and a bunch of other stuff and says, okay, uh, you can issue the bonds or not. Um, and the terminology that you need to know is that the, um, there's a, what's called a bond indenture agreement. A bond indenture is the agreement. And that specifies all the terms and conditions um, related to the bond. And that's, it's a, a contract, um, interest payments, uh, interest dates, uh, int yeah, all, all maturity date, everything else that you'd ever want to know about the bond. Um, usually it's done through an investment banker, but we'll get to that a little bit later on. Uh, there's certain vocab that will make doing journal entries a lot easier. And it's important that you understand not all of these, but at least some of these. Um, basically, the ones you need to know are convertible and callable. So if you're at the end of the semester and you're a little stressed, focus on those two. Um, the others are terms that you might want to be aware of um, you know, going forward. But we basically need to know that convertible bonds can convert to common stock, and that's at the bondholder's discretion, and the terms of that would be laid out in the bond indenture. Uh, callable bonds, the company can call the bonds before their maturity date. Uh, it's called early extinguishment of debt. You can't just say they called in the bonds. Um, and uh, so you need to be aware of those because we will be doing journal entries for them. Okay. Um, just to review a little bit of terminology here with equity financing, that refers to issuing stock, you know, like stockholders' equity. Um, so equity financing, you issue more common stock. Uh, debt financing would be, uh, was specifically talking here about bonds payable, but debt financing is also notes payable. So just comparing these two, um, if you're a company, there's a lot of things they consider on raising, we need to raise long-term capital, which do we want to do? Um, and so the uh, equity financing, they issue more stock. Well, that means they're issuing more votes because each share of common stock has a vote. Um, the dividends will have to be paid, well, the dividends are paid when they're declared to the stockholders. Um, earnings per share will be reduced with equity financing because you're adding more shares to divide your net income by. You know, net income divide divided by the number of shares outstanding, you're dividing by a bigger number, reducing earnings per share. Um, but there's no contractual obligation to pay dividends as far as your cash flows go. Bond hold, you know, with issuing bonds, uh, they're creditors, no vote, um, the interest to the bondholders is tax deductible, um, and so that has an impact on your cash flows there, but the interest must be paid. Um, every whatever it specifies in the indenture agreement. Earnings per share not impacted. So if you want to put numbers on that, if we start with our uh, net income before interest and taxes of 750, so what happens if we issue stock versus uh, just issue 2 million in bonds? Um, with, if you're issuing um, stock, you're not be going to be able to deduct the bond interest so here's the bond interest on the bonds. Uh, you end up with a lower net income and lower taxes, a little better cash flow there. Um, and, but you're reporting a lower net income. Your stockholders may not like that. And the other thing is you're going to report a higher earnings per share by issuing bonds than stock um, just because you've had to add 200,000 shares to your stock outstanding. So these are just sort of the big picture of bonds and what what things are considered when bonds are issued. This little section on bond trading, you may want to take some t time to read over. Oh, I love it when this happens. Um, yeah. 
I will have to call him back, excuse me, I usually shut that off, and I don't have time to redo a whole video. So you may want to read over this section um, because it explains a little bit how the mechanics of a bond issue. Um, a lot of times it's done through a, an investment banker. They can buy, buy the entire bond issue from the company, or they can do it, uh, sell the bonds on a commission basis. Uh, the bond indenture agreement that involves the certificates. I, I don't think they even print out certificates. They used to be really beautiful with pictures of trains if it was a railroad company. Uh, it's all online. Um, okay, so this just takes you through sort of the why of we'll be, we'll be issuing bonds at a premium and a, at a discount. And, and um, so it's really the time difference between when they draw up that bond indenture agreement and when the bonds are actually issued. It's usually a matter of a, some months. So the interest rate that's stated on the, face, on the uh, face of the bond is likely to be different from the market interest rate when the bonds are issued. There'll be more on that later, but this basically explains why we have to account for bond discount and bond premium. Okay, so are there anything else on the basics here? Just it will be very helpful when you come to do the journal entries. Okay.